Hi everybody, Rick over at Building Controls Group. And uh, for uh, today's Tech Tip video, we're going to be reviewing um, a three-part series on how to program your Johnson Field Devices. So um, we're going to be focusing on three different methods. Um, the three different methods will be programming through your uh, Johnson Map Gateway, uh, through a BACnet router, and through AJS. So um, for those of you getting started with uh, some of these programs, uh, programming on the field, this is a good way to get you started and how to uh, connect to these field devices, do commissioning and uh, programming. So um, for part one, we're going to be focusing on the Johnson Map Gateway. Um, one uh, concern I'd like to address real quick is uh, with the Map Gateway, a lot of people have um, asked us about the uh, fact that you use your wireless on your computer to connect to the gateway. And uh, one thing that we'd like to suggest to our customers is to buy a Wi-Fi adapter similar to this. Um, that way you can connect to more than one wireless, uh, like your hotspot or the guest wireless, wherever you're at. Um, and this allows us to you know, give you remote support and allow you to still be able to get to the internet while your gateway is connected to your other Wi-Fi adapter. So um, just uh, throwing that out there for those of you uh, with that concern. Um, so uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to grab the camera. We're going to flip you around here. And so up here is my map gateway. And the different ways you can connect, we're going to be focusing with the 2611 today. Um, you can connect your gateway to the FC port, the SA port, or if your controller is above the ceiling and you have a sensor in the space, you can connect to the SA bus on the sensor itself. So uh, for today, we're just going to be plugging into the FC bus. So as you can see, I plugged it in. This is a self-powered unit, so um, when you plug it in, it will fire up and then um, go through its process of booting up. I'm going to flip myself back around. Um, we're going to let that thing boot up here, and then we're going to get into CCT. And while we let that boot up, um, uh, there has also been a little bit of confusion on CCT versus PCT. So um, with the release of CCT 13, it has replaced PCT. And for those of you longtime Johnson guys, uh, think or know that CCT was branch software. Um, my belief is Johnson is trying to streamline this. So now everybody gets CCT. It's just the modules that run within CCT allow you to either access branch or facility explorer products. So um, after uh, PCT 10.3, it has now changed to CCT. So um, for our uh, demonstration here, we're going to be running CCT 14.1. That's the latest release as of when this video is being made. So um, my map is just getting started up. Let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to make myself a little bit smaller here so you can see my screen a little bit better. And there is my map. And um, if you haven't set up your map for the first time, you know we'll probably make a video on how to set up your map because by default um, there are some configuration you have to do to get your map working. But um, we're going to proceed with the um, understanding that you guys have already set up your map. So um, as you can see, I've already jumped into the website. And, and this is a good quick way to make sure that you can see your field device before you jump into CCT and check your programming. So. quickly jump in and the default IP for your map gateway is always going to be 192.168.142.1 and there it is I found my PCG 2611 it has my test app loaded in it so we will um, go ahead and proceed to CCT. As you can see, I've already got my app open. Um, we will quickly just change the name of this app um, for the purposes of this video. And this is because I already have test app loaded in. All right, so we verified that our device is connecting with the map. So we're going to go ahead and take this app that we've already 
done what we wanted to do with and we're going to send it to the controller. So um, when you get into transfer files to the controller, you can you select your map for to backnet router. And then um, if you want the easiest way is just to hit default map to default. That way it throws in all the defaults for your map gateway. So 192.168.142.1. And then um, 47.808 is your UDP. And then 65.001 is your network number. Um, make sure you select the wireless adapter that your map is connected to for me this is what it is so we can go ahead and hit next hit next again looks like it found my pcg everything's good to go so just hit finish so now it's going to be transferring my application to the pcg the pcg will restart and we'll be in business all right, well, while this is loading, I would do want to make a mention of our beloved Bluetooth tool for those of you out there who are still using this guy. Um, unfortunately, with the uh, release of CCT 13.1 and newer, they have discontinued support for it, so you can no longer transfer with the tool. still works fine with PCT 10.2 and 10.3, but unfortunately, since they have officially discontinued that tool for quite a while now, they've dropped support with the newer releases of CCT. So, unfortunately... Um, a lot of us have to go to the map gateway these days. So uh, so you can see our stuff uploaded. Let's go ahead and we're just going to do a quick commission just to verify that the application dropped in there and everything was good to go. So again, click on the commission. Um, at this point, since you've thrown in all the credentials to get to your map, you don't have to do that again. You can just click next and um, should go out and try to find that device. And I found it. So we'll go ahead and click finish. And there we are. We're in commissioning mode. We're connected to the device live. And um, there you go. That's um, how you can connect your device and program via your map gateway. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, we ask that uh, if you get a chance, check out our website, buildingcontrolsgroup.com. Uh, we've got a lot of great product where you support Vicon and, uh, and Johnson Facility Explorer products. So um, great website, great resources from us. Um, and we thank you for watching.